Dear listeners, welcome to the world of excitement called Storytel. Storytel is an app-based audiobook subscription platform that allows you to listen to the books on the go. You can simply enjoy thousands of books of your choice anytime and anywhere. Explore from the wide range of well-known audiobooks from leading publishers as well as exclusive Storytel original audiobooks in Hindi, English and Marathi. Listening to the originals by Storytel is always an amazing experience thanks to an extraordinary creative and talented writers along with renowned voiceover artists. The process is just like reinventing happiness. Stay tuned and enjoy today's special podcast. Hello listeners and uh, today we have Alka Sharma a veteran and a well-known voice artist and the voice of famous cartoon character Shin Chan. Good evening, Alka. Hi. Hi, Rahul. So, today we are going to talk about Ninja Nani and the Zapped Zombie Kids and another book called Ninja Nani and the Bumbling Bugglers. So, all these two books are written by Lavanya Karthik and uh, these are two fantastic books written on the children's genre. So, hi, Alka. Can you just tell me a little bit about Ninja Nani and the Zapped Zombie Kids? I would uh, start off with congratulating Lavanya Karthik Mm -hmm. on having written two amazing books. Okay. Uh, I loved reading it and recording it. Mm -hmm. Uh, The characters are very well defined, very interesting, real characters, unconventional, super fun. And the plots she has created around the basic storyline these are amazing. I could actually see how much fun she would have had writing this. It was amazing bringing these characters to life. Okay. So as the name suggests, uh, Ninja Nani and the Zapped Zombie Kids. So are the kids really zombie in this? That's for the reader to find out when you go through okay. this amazing book. Okay. But uh, what I would like to share is that it's a metaphorical take on okay. zombie. Okay. Yeah. And okay. it's a mystery waiting to unfold. As the name says, Ninja Nani. India, Nani is a term to maternal grandmother. Exactly. Does this book also have something called a granny coming in? Yes, there is a fabulous granny coming in. Oh. And watch out for that. May I add, uh, uh, Rahul, that I loved the relationship Nani and Deepu, the protagonist. Okay. Uh, the second, I mean, main character in okay. the story, okay. apart from Ninja Nani. Okay. The, the, their relationship is amazing. So, Nani is not your typical uh, sweet cuddly old lady she will take it too far if she's having fun with it and uh, Deepu in fact is the one who is trying to put her in her compassionate place very interesting the way their roles keep complementing each other and uh, so there is one place uh, without revealing too much I would like to share that where Nani goes too far Mm -hmm. misusing her powers and compromising Deepu's safety in fact doesn't this make her bad Nani? Well, you will see how it goes on. It doesn't, I think, because it just makes her very interesting and real. Okay. Uh, And Deepu is, of course, deeply disappointed Mm. because he is out there in the middle of the night trying to protect her and Mm. save her. Mm. Uh, He's also a small boy of 10, Mm. uh, 9 or 10. Okay. Uh, Okay. And it's amazing to see what happens next. I loved that part where they uh, sit and bond in a very difficult circumstance very dangerous actually uh, circumstance so there's a lot of adventure in there's this. a lot of adventure okay it's okay. amazing fine it's a roller coaster ride so alka tell me one thing uh, you did shin chan yes. you played shin chan over the years how does it help you to do books for kids genre relating to what you have done earlier in your career and you have been a voicing artist you have been doing uh, films you have been doing yeah. series you have been doing i think um, a lot of uh, television work or yes. as far as voicing is concerned yeah. and sin chan is something special out of mm-hmm. everything yeah. so how do you think uh, that has helped you here while performing for Ninja Nani and the Zapped Zombie Kids. Rahul, I don't know if you know, but I started my voicing career with Shin Chan. Shin Chan? Yes. Okay, that's the most difficult thing (laughs) on earth you have started with that. I started with Shin Chan and the dubbing director and engineer had back then would tell you the real story of what an ordeal it was for them to pick up because I was not a voice actor or a dubbing artist. I was doing something completely different. Okay. And uh, there I was uh, taking 
close to four hours to dub one episode. Okay. So it started okay. with a lot of struggle, but gradually I learned to love it. Okay. And over the years, uh, thankfully, I've had uh, a lot of opportunities to explore uh, my range, my voice mm -hmm. uh, in the live action series and animation. Mm -hmm. uh, so now when we've started doing audio books, mm -hmm. I see how it all comes together. Okay. Um, you know, I mean, I don't have to spend too much time mm -hmm. worrying over it. Mm -hmm. It's fun, in fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm having a lot of fun with uh, putting these voices to these different characters. Right. So as far this book is concerned and the copy I see produced by Doug Bill got a lot of illustrations in the book. It does. It, does. it has got a lot of illustrations. Mm -hmm. This makes a reader's journey, journey very easy to understand and visualize things. Do you think in audio those illustrations have come up well while these illustrations are on, on this book drawn by the publication house or the writer? Yeah. How does it uh, help when you're doing an audio book? Will, do you think people will visualize things and will your voice or your performance will take them through the journey of Ninja Nani and the Zap Zombie Kid? Uh, my hope for the book is that it does that. Mm -hmm. Actually, Lavanya has written it so well that it's very visually stimulating. Okay. And uh, I'm sure the every reader will have conjuncted up this whole entire world where they have characters from their lives, mm -hmm. you know, that they can relate to who would have taken up these voices mm -hmm. in their heads. But, uh, and I also hope that my voice lends that quality to the audios. And as far as the graphic illustrations are concerned, they do take the story forward in a mm -hmm. beautiful way. They mm -hmm. add to it. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage the readers to pick up the copies and oh. uh, go through that as well. Okay. And as you see, that generation of kids have been changing decade to decades. Now we are in a generation where kids are very smart. They have got smartphones and they have yes. got all the freaky gadgets with, in their hands. Mm. And will this book relate to today's kid? Absolutely. Uh, or is this immortal? This book is amazing. It is power packed. Mm. It's amazing. It's so much fun. Growing up, <clears throat> I was always looking for characters that I could relate to. Okay. Hence, Bomkesh Bakshi right. and uh, Peluda. Mm -hmm. All these characters were mm -hmm. my sort of super sleuths. Is this a mystery solver or something? Our Deepu, the protagonist, is, is a mystery solver or something? It's full of mysteries. Okay. Now we talk about this book called Ninja Nani and the Bumbling Burglars. Yeah. So is there a, is this a story of a burglar coming in and, you know, rampaging the house and, you know, stealing of things or something like that? It's not just the house. Okay. It's the entire city which oh. is at stake here. And is this is actually the book where Nani attains those superpowers. And she is the burglar? She, no, she's not the burglar. Okay. She's, she's the... Uh, I would, I would not like to reveal too much, but she is a really cool... Again, Deepu uh, is a protagonist here. Deepu and Nani are both sharing that oh, okay, stage. Okay. Yeah, and, and doing so mystery. much justice to okay, it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. They're both rock stars. Ha have this been, uh, this situation written in the book happened to you in your real life? As a matter of fact, it did. Okay. <laughs> Although it was, I don't know what to call it. It uh, Yes, it was a burglary, I guess, because we were asleep in the night when I was, I used to live in Shillong. Okay. When I was seven, uh, maybe seven, eight year old. So okay. actually the same age as Deepu. Okay. And um, we were asleep and this bathroom door of ours opened out into the backyard. Okay. Which was very rusty and you could kick it and enter. But and, uh, we, but it, uh, in a place like Shillong, you don't care. No crime happening there. Okay. But so anyway, this happened. And mm. the thieves, they took, I think, an umbrella and our tape recorder. Quite interesting yeah. thing to steal. Umbrella <laughs> and a tape recorder. Umbrella to save themselves from, for, from the rain. Yeah. And tape recorder to, to listen to some music. Music in the rain. Music yes. in the rain. Nice. How romantic. How romantic <laughs> were they uh, male and female, I suppose. Because which is why they have done like, that. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so here, um, Ninja Nani and the burgling, bumbling burglars. How many burglars are there in total involved in this entire robbery or, you know, the taking One, city on the One, two rampage? and three. Three, there are three yes. burglars in total. Yeah. Okay. Each and every, Rahul, each and every character is so well established. Even if they come for two lines, mm -hmm. it's amazing. So, um, here we go. Do listen to Ninja Nani and the bungling burglars. Ninja Nani and the Zapped Zombie Kids, voiced by Alka Sharma, the voice of Sinchan, exclusively on Storytel. And written by Lavanya Karthik. Written by Lavanya Karthik and uh, hope you all enjoy it and you like it.
प्लीज डू गिव अस आवर फीडबैक थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच यू आर लिसनिंग टू द पॉडकास्ट ऑन निंजा नानी एंड द बम्बलिंग बर्गलर्स एंड निंजा नानी एंड द जैप्ट जॉम्बी किड्स exclusively on storytel the mobile service application where you can listen to more than 10000s of books change the way you read whenever wherever